my fellow Wananchi, both old and young, the leaders and the led. I want to take this opportunity to clear the air on the issue of BBI as a former military man who knows what it is to serve a country, who knows what loyalty is and what commitment is. I took these values with me and accepted to work when I was requested to join BBI. In 1992, 97, 2008, and even 2017, we saw what politics can do to a country. It can divide people on tribal lines or sometimes even on regional lines. The mission of BBI, building bridges to a united Kenya, was to me the most opportune moment to render service to this country and be party to the team that was entrusted with the task of coming up with a process that would unite the country. When the final report was completed, we were called to come and sign that report. And under normal circumstances, before you sign any report, there is a need to read it and agree with what is written there. Unfortunately, due to pressure of time, and I cannot understand where that came from, we did not get time to go through the report, but instead we were told, all is well, the report has not been changed, sign it. And when some of us hesitated, we were told, sign in trust. Trust us that the report is in order. After my Vasha meeting, I came to learn that there was an additional 70 members of parliament. And I asked myself, where did this come from? Secondly, the issue of locking other people out, bearing in mind that the spirit of BBI was to build bridges of a united country. And to me, it flew against that very spirit of BBI which we had established. No more Mziko on the Wanjiku. And so the issue of uh, 70 MPs, and this is among many other issues in the report, I just want to say that BBI did not discuss that. I want to finally say this, that Kenya is for us all, that this process of building bridges is for the good of this nation. And I just want to say this in addition, that Mimi Kamamze, a person who has had a vast experience to be told that I lied or I was confused. I think as an elder, I cannot accept that and I'm not going to make a kind of rebuttal on that. But I want to, you, everybody to know, I said it in my total commitment as a patriot as a man who will stand for the rights of the people of this nation.